Catherine here. Today's video is going to be really special. There are three remedies, only three, that a kidney disease patient in stage 4 or 5 pre-dialysis needs if they want to avoid dialysis for years. I've arranged them in a top three. So today we will see the most powerful, most proven and most effective remedies for kidney disease you can find. Our number one in particular was tested on stage 5 pre-dialysis patients and was able to improve their GFR by 24.8% in 9 months. So it didn't just help patients to avoid dialysis, it actually improved their kidney function. And guys, in this top 3, I've only included remedies that are useful for every single kidney disease patient, no matter the stage, and that are supported by large studies. Let's start with a remedy that I would recommend not just to patients in stage 4, but also to those in stage 5 of CKD. This is because this remedy will protect your kidneys and decrease the uremic symptoms by acting as an intestinal form of dialysis. And it really works! It was used with success on several patients that wanted to avoid dialysis. I am talking about... Let's see it! Number 3 is Acacia Fiber! Number 3 Acacia Fiber The reason why Acacia Fiber is interesting to us is its ability to actually absorb uremic toxins in the intestines. Uremic toxins are the main cause for CKD symptoms. Acacia fiber was actually used in several stage 5 patients who wanted to avoid dialysis with an amazing result. All of the test subjects were able to avoid dialysis thanks to this natural remedy for up to 8 years. Patients continued to experience low urea levels and it didn't develop any symptoms of uremia. No important side effect was observed. Okay guys, this is how acacia fiber looks like in powder form. Acacia fiber is the gum that's naturally exuded by the acacia tree. It's a 100% vegetable and natural, non-genetically modified remedy which is often used as a food additive when taken orally in therapeutic dosages. Other than being a form of intestinal dialysis, acacia fiber is also used to help with diabetes, high cholesterol, weight loss, and high blood pressure, all according to several studies. And this makes it useful for patients in all the stages of CKD. The way you can take it is pretty simple. It can also be added to smoothies. And acacia fiber is one of the best sources of prebiotics in nature. And being it pure dietary fiber, it's great to fight gut issues. It's pretty gentle on the stomach compared to other sources of fiber, but it's always better to start with a smaller dose and raise it gradually. The therapeutic dose for this remedy varies according to the result you want to achieve. For example, for diabetes, around 20 grams a day of acacia fiber seem to be the best dose. Doses around 15 grams were used to control cholesterol levels and for weight loss. In patients wanting to avoid dialysis, the dosage used is even higher, but I always recommend to consult a nephrologist and have them help you finding the perfect dosage. It's also worth mentioning that the patients in this study were also following a very low protein diet. This is a crucial step to avoid dialysis. If you want to know more about this life-saving diet, my video up here may help you. And also consider that acacia fiber can protect the kidneys and help lower creatinine levels in all the stages of CKD. This is a powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory and it scavenges free radicals in the body while protecting you from diabetes and high cholesterol levels. I've also added a link down in the description if you want to try it. 
Our number two now, this is an essential mineral that's key to preserve and restore kidney function. Just like for essential vitamins, you cannot live without enough of it. And yet, recent research suggests that up to 75% Americans are not meeting their recommended intake of this essential mineral. Kidney patients may have even low levels of this exact mineral and that may cause hypertension, phosphorus imbalance, inflammation, high uric acid levels and even a faster progression to end-stage renal disease. To avoid this, consider supplementing number two is, let's see it, magnesium. Here it is. Number two, magnesium. Guys, there's been a lot of buzz surrounding magnesium and CKD in the scientific community lately. New research is completely changing the way we will look at magnesium. It's now proven that having low levels of magnesium will lead to a faster decline in kidney function and even earlier death. On the other hand, taking just one of these pills a day may be the easiest way to repair the kidneys you can find and the benefits may be immediate, way faster than you may think. I always feel really jittery and nervous when my magnesium level is too low and taking this supplement helps calm me down. It's also a great sleep aid. There is only one thing you need to know before starting to take a magnesium supplement. Most kidney disease patients are not going to absorb standard magnesium supplements. This is what recent research found out. While it was believed that increasing magnesium levels through oral supplementation wasn't possible, today researchers may have found a way. In fact, if you take a look at my bottle here, this is not your standard magnesium. Taking this can have a dramatic effect on your kidney health and creatinine levels. I'll show you exactly what to take and how in a moment. But why is magnesium level so important for the health of the kidneys? Magnesium is a mineral that's crucial to the body's function. Just like for essential vitamins, you cannot live without enough of it. Unfortunately, magnesium deficiency is very common among people with kidney problems, especially those taking diuretics and in diabetics, and it may cause poor sleep, inflammation, and high uric acid levels. It is known to be associated with hypertension, vascular calcification, and insulin resistance. Lower serum magnesium levels are also associated with an increased risk of both ending up on dialysis and death. And guys, all the remedies I'm going to show you today are extremely useful for anyone with kidney problems. Our number one in particular is the only remedy in the world that restores kidney function in all the stages of kidney disease. Don't miss it. And while magnesium is something I always recommend supplementing, those taking diuretics and diabetics are going to get the greater benefits from this one. And there is more. Magnesium could also be used as a phosphate binder. So if you are already taking a phosphate binder, consider switching from a calcium carbonate phosphate binder to a magnesium based one. A very important question. What's the correct way of supplementing magnesium? There are a dozen types of magnesium supplements you could take. There is magnesium sulfate, carbonate, oxide, citrate, and more. Not all of them would help. What the recent study on CKD patients found out is that supplementing magnesium carbonate or citrate won't raise serum magnesium levels. Recent research shows that the best type of magnesium for those with kidney problems is magnesium oxide. Taking magnesium with vitamin D6 has also shown to improve absorption significantly. This is why I take this type of magnesium you see here. Now, my advice if you want to supplement magnesium is to first get checked for serum levels and consult your doctor. Okay, time now to see the number one. This is probably the most powerful remedy you can find when it comes to repairing the kidneys. When our number one was tested on stage four and five pre-dialysis CKD patients, this remedy didn't just delay dialysis initiation by years. In some cases, 
It also lowered proteinuria, blood sugar levels, and blood pressure by 16 over 10 millimeters of mercury on average. And I am talking about, let's see it. Astragalus. This remedy is something I recommend to every single kidney disease patient, even those in stage 5 that want to delay dialysis as long as possible. In a breakthrough study on stage 4 and 5 chronic kidney disease patients, this natural remedy did what many considered to be a miracle. All the patients had a declining kidney function in the months before starting the therapy with astragalus. But after just three months of therapy with astragalus, their GFR started to go up instead of down. And most of the test subjects of this study were in stage 5 predialysis. And that's not all! Astragalus has a proven track record when it comes to fighting proteinuria, one of the most important markers of kidney damage. And it restores kidney function in all the stages of kidney disease. Guys, if you want to know everything about Astragalus, this video up here is for you and this is all for today. Thank you for watching!